all right so megan good um i don't have a picture of megan good i should have had a picture here uh but uh let me see if i can uh quickly just in case you don't know who megan good is um you know she she has a couple of things to say um let me just go ahead and pull that up if you quickly. don't know who megan good is go to google come on no, 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 no. It's baby. 2022. That's, that's not how this shit works, baby. Well, this I'm, is a show. We got to bring what? them up to speed. I'm just saying, like, yo, I, I go on my Google, like, I think 10,000 times a day. No, I, I think a, a, a no, no, no. you'd be shocked how many, I think she's, wouldn't you consider her a D-list act, actress? That's Megan Good, by the way, uh, for those of you that may not know what that is. I don't know. I've not seen her in, like, big movie productions late, lately. I mean, I saw her in a, in a series. Uh -huh. the, the Alan, Alan, whatever, whatever. I don't remember what the name is. Right. But, yeah, I've not seen her in a while in movies, so right. she might. I mean, maybe she's a D-list. I don't know. Yeah, so that's that's what Megan Good is. She's an actress, and she was married to some Nollywood... Not Nollywood, I'm sorry. Okay. Hollywood Bro. producer and slash pastor, Devon Wait, Franklin. Hollywood producer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's how they well met. Known? Uh, since I they became married nine years ago. I'm sorry, if not for Megan Good, I don't know this guy, to be honest with you. <laughs> well, if you don't watch a lot of black movies... I There's do. a good chance. Are you kidding me? No, no, no. I'm saying if you don't watch a, the, uh, sorry, not Devon, <laughs> but if you don't watch a lot of black movies, there's a good chance you don't know Megan Good. Oh, okay, okay. Because right. I watch a lot of black movies. Right, right. And right. I don't know her ex husband, but I know her very well. Right, right, right. So she talked to, uh, she finally, basically, they filed for divorce. Mm -hmm. The guy filed for divorce, I don't Which know, a month, two months ago, or something like that. Right. And, I didn't uh, see that coming. You didn't see that coming? Well, uh, I would. It's kind of hard for me to say I see it coming because that's marriage and nobody's They've been happy. They've together for nine years. Yeah, so it just never seemed like it, it to me. I did on our other on my other channel. I did a video about this. Uh, uh, Men of Prestige. Uh, I, it just it just came off as um, unequally yoked situation. Oh, I, I agree with yeah. that because I think she was taking too much heat. From yeah, the church people. there's too much yeah, negativity going on, especially from so a public church. standpoint. Mm. Um, th th those those flashbacks are very powerful. They yeah, would destroy. especially from the earlier than that kind yeah, of people. to destroy that would, your marriage. That would kill a marriage, mm. to be honest. So if it already seems like your lifestyles are not aligned, mm. yeah, uh, she, I mean, just off of outside outward look. Uh, they don't seem to be in the same lifestyle. They never seem to. So, uh, the fact that they lasted nine years, right. uh, kudos to them. But they tried. I can't exactly claim. Uh, maybe help me switch that thing. Switch both switch, and then flip the both switch. You flip it and then you flip the door open. So we make sure we remind to turn it back on. Thank you, babe. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, they they never seem to align in the same. Um, lifestyle for me right I so I, I the reason why I'm I'm stammering is because again it's marriage I don't want to come off as I, I was predicting that somebody's marriage is going to end I'm very very uncomfortable uh, with saying that but I think mm -hmm. uh, either way I just uh, I just said it um, uh, lol Lola at they've been together for nine years does that matter anymore uh, I mean well there are people that break up at 15 true. years uh, true, 25 maybe years i was hoping 35 years i was hoping they would make it <laughs> yeah i was really hoping they would make it yeah so um you know we do that as human beings we root for them we hope that they'll make it so anyway she had uh, a few things to say about uh why about what happened yeah oh. a, a statement okay. came out what um, did she say uh, so yeah. she said, throughout life, I've always uh, approached, let me just uh, put this back on full screen. Uh, throughout life, I've always approached relationships as understanding that at some point, they'll get to the place that they're going to, and then they would be over. Hmm? She's always approached relationships as understanding that at some point, that it will end at some point, right? Ah. That they'll get to the place that they're going to. Which means, uh, what's the place they're going to that it's not a lifetime? I thought it was to that do us part. That's what I thought. Okay, oh so gosh. again, lifestyle. I'm talking lifestyle here. If you approach marriage with this kind of mindset, ah, right? It um, end. 
I don't know if you're not going to attract exactly that. <laughs> yeah. Right? Um, and then they will be over. She said, I've always had an attitude of like, all right, next chapter. Huh. We'll see what's next. And being okay with that and appreciating what you give to someone and what they give to you and sharing a moment. Now, if you, even people that, that subscribe to the Till Death Do Us Part Lifetime, uh, many of them end the marriage mm-hmm. for ma- many situations, circumstantial, circumstantial right? Mm-hmm. Uh, life, mm-hmm. right? This, I don't think anybody goes into a marriage with the intentions to destroy it. I, yeah. think, I think on an average, I don't think many people. I don't think people. Do I don't that. think people get married. <laughs> I just think most to people don't do that. Divorced, exactly. I think know. most people don't do that, right? right. So, um, but again, never say never, right? It's exceptions to every rule. So, you might love bet. And the moment in time and in life that you never get back, regardless of how it ends. In my situation right now, it's a little bit different because I thought that that would be mm. the last time that. Um, I would be doing this with that person forever. So she's always had that mindset, but she really thought she really believed she thought in this, this one. one would work. Right. I mean, our marriage, yes. Right. And then uh, what we just said, the mo- she said the most painful thing I've ever experienced in life. I can imagine. Right. So I still it's don't tough. think, including her, and I don't think anybody goes into a marriage to want to destroy it. Mm-hmm. And I think a lot of places where men fail is because when a woman says, I want divorce or I'm not happy, they receive it as, oh, so you came here to destroy my life. You a, this devilish trick. human it's a trick. slash hip, mm-hmm. <laughs> right? So um, I think um, I think it's, it's, it's crazy. So I'm not sure what you mean by hmm, not marriage though, right? Yeah, yeah, I guess, okay, she's talking about yeah. when you go to... Uh, uh, relationships, like, in a relationship, stuff. for the most part, you, yeah. you're hoping, if you really like that person, you would want your relationship to last. Right. But, I don't know. Right. Maybe she's had too many failed relationships. Maybe that's well, why she thinks that way. Yeah, exactly. And if you came into it with this mindset, and then you're getting all those laughbacks about how you dress... This church people from millions of millions of not just church people, Jerry. It's but everybody was judging her. Which everybody? But was particularly, particularly the probably church particularly people. church people. Yeah. Okay, it was the church people. <laughs> right. Because I watched the clip where the husband had to defend her and say, "No, that's true. You're not gonna speak to my wife like that." Right. But I can't imagine how many of it she has dealt with as a first lady. That can be easy. I can't imagine having to fight that battle for nine years. Always feeling like somebody is judging you. Always feeling like... Uh... I can't imagine you being a pastor. Mm-hmm. This will be something we will have to discuss. Mm-hmm. How many years have I been talking about that? What, what do you mean? I'm not a pastor. Someone will say, uh, uh, Mr. Allah, you'll be a pastor one day. I'm like, uh-uh. I'm oh, not ready oh, for that. Oh, me being a I pastor. Not right. what? Well, you know, our lifestyle, even both of us, is not loud. So I don't think that would be an issue. Well, first of all, I'm not going to be a pastor. Second of all, uh, I, I need to keep cursing. Not exactly. I need <laughs> so, to be myself. But, uh, <laughs> like, seriously, I, I need to be myself. Why, why do you need to keep cursing? Why do you just... Isn't that mean it's negative if you need to? Um, Based on what standard? I'm, I'm not understanding. Oh, based on whose moral compass. But anyway, uh, back to the topic, right? I, 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 I don't think... Um, Generally speaking, Sha, I don't think anybody goes into a marriage to destroy it, but I think that is not enough to maintain a marriage. Mm-hmm. I think there's, a, I think a relationships, long-term relationship, is a, it's a skill set. Yeah. Uh, especially because other human beings are involved. Yeah. And it's not about right and wrong. I think where we get it wrong, is about um, <laughs> look what we have in this house. We have a beam baller in the house. What's going on, Mrs. Allen Taylor? Oh, <laughs> hello, sis. Dare I say a beam baller or modara? I'm the only one that can say that. But mm-hmm. thank you for coming here, She's sis. She's a never say never. <laughs> She's a never say never. Yeah, yeah, never Come say on. never. That's my quote you're using right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. really. Yeah. 
a big one. And, and let me. me let me just say this. Let me give her her flowers while she's here right now. She was extremely instrumental when we went through our own crisis mm. to be able to maintain my sanity, especially early in the stages of that process. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so you told me. You did tell me. Of course, I told you. <laughs> right. Right. Yes. So, um, so thank you for being here, Bimbo. Thank you. I appreciate thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We appreciate you. Yeah. So yeah, I I I, I just think there's so many things going on with marriage, so many moving variables mm. with one human being before we even get to the second human being. Mm -hmm. There's too many things going on in our head, the way we were raised, the traumas we went through, the one we know, the one we don't know, mm -hmm. the belief system, uh, the the upside and downside of being a devout Christian, <laughs> right? Oh, I think she's saying never say never because. Uh, pastor mm -hmm. yeah, hmm? you two want me to be pastor what? or you ah. <laughs> mm -hmm. that would be up for uh, discussion yeah okay. <laughs> yeah this is the part where i said bimbo I, I don't think i think the seven year old or is who you know <laughs> <laughs> um but anyway um but yeah never say never you know maybe never say never. maybe the it's direction maybe since we have the pastor fato yibos the Jim Jim and you Gucci never pastors. Know. God can arrest me. Eh? And I, I can become Mommy Gio. Who knows? Um, this says you'll be finding all kinds of Then you'll be Gio competing with show. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy Gio. <laughs> Voila. I can't do it. Wahala. Uh, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, there's too much going on. Variable. And so that there's a skill set that's involved uh, uh, before you can build long term relationships. Period. Marriage. I guess the vows is marriage, right? Mm -hmm. But precisely, we're talking about uh, a normal human being being able to maintain uh, the idea of the vows till death do us part. Even to a lot of people, when they go through crisis, those vows become what puts them into, you know, the you feel like you you're en you're encapsulated into a castle. You've like built a wall around yourself, and you feel en enslaved. Mm. You feel like you're, you're oh, it's How do you say that in English? You feel like um, like you're, you're crippled, oh, okay. in bondage, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and the problem is that there's mental state that goes with this. Like if it was as simple as uh, uh, just decide, right? We just say, hey, I committed. I'm going to stick with my commitment. It was that simple. We won't have 50% divorce rate. That's why across board commitment is like every day, like in the moment. It's every not moment. every moment. It yeah. is because it's not something you just say. It's not easy to be committed to one person for the rest of your life. It's not easy. You're gonna have moments. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You can't stand that person. And Co the more <laughs> I'll be in charge of your offerings. Yeah. Okay, now. <laughs> My yeah. Yeah. Yes, like it's not. It's not easy. Mm -hmm. It's a real job. Right. And I always tell people, mm -hmm. the way you work at your job, right. eh, mm -hmm. that you are getting promotion. Right. Because some of us, we are very good at the side also. We are yeah. very, we are hustlers. The same energy you have to put in your relationship. Yeah. Or yeah. you will die. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, um, I just didn't see their lifestyle. Um, I think I see that there's a lot of forces against their marriage. Um, right. Uh, and, 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 and those we don't really know what really happened, to be honest. There could yeah. be more to it. Yes, exactly, well, exactly. About what we you know, but you know, the the ones with the little minds on the internet, uh, uh, where the direction they go fast, uh, they go quickly. Is that oh, she's for the streets. She just never belonged there, right? That's what they. Shut up, Joe. That's the fastest direction. They are saying that she's they for the streets. Mm -hmm. If uh, they ask many of them happen to come in contact with Megan Good tomorrow mm -hmm. and she falls for one of them, you will for they will forget that she's for the streets. My damn, that is, yeah, yeah, yeah.